Hello inventors, in this video we will learn how we can create art game using a mighty app inventor. Using this game, we need to draw something here and our app or our AI will recognize it something similar to anything or not. Now click on start new project and my project name is art AI game. Now here you can see that's our first screen here. Now we need to need here one thing is simply is canvas. So left side you can see drawing an animation just drag and drop that canvas here like this and we need to make this height and width is like uh, width is make sure is a fill parent but the height is around you can make it like 50% or 40% something like that and now we need here one button so make sure we need here one layout also so make it like horizontal arrangement this one and make this with this fill parent like this and drag and drop your three buttons here one and just chain that button to like clear or you can just get the result okay and let me just chain that background color of that is like cool get result and now we need to just copy paste that button and the second button we will just say the image image picker or in that third button we will say like clear like this so we have three buttons here make it in a center horizontal and alignment and we need here one more layout so just copy and paste that and we have three button here but in that button we just need to remove that text from here like this and make this one with is at least five percent like this or you can make this height is of 10 percent not not 10 percent it's too much so like let me just make it five percent okay so let me just make this 10 height and width is also 10 like this now make sure this horizontal arrangement height is at least 20 percent like this now we need to just copy and paste that button so let me just delete both buttons here from here delete both here like this and copy and paste that button at least five times like we have five buttons now we have to use your colors like in the first button we will change that color to something red and that second button i'm to make it like uh, yeah, orange and that third button i will make it like uh, white and the fourth button i will make that one is uh, blue and the fifth button i'm to make this one as a black now make sure black should be here something here and change that background color to something like pink or something like this cool so that all these things are your paint color okay so whenever you paint something in that canvas so you can change that color from here now we need here one label okay here and whenever we click on that get result button so this label will recognize your canvas image picture okay so if i suppose draw some bird so that uh, button will recognize everything what whatever you have drawn so let me just try here so we need to add here one extension that is look extension so just type here look extension mit app inventor so you can see that website i will give you that link of that website in the description and we need to download that look extension aix file download that go to the mit app inventor and then we need to just extension here import that extension here and just drag and drop this here and import it now drag and drop that extension here now we need here one click on user interface one browser here like this and make sure make this hide hide is one percent okay like this and now we need to add one image here like uh, here so we will display our image here so make sure height is like 30 percent at least like this or you can make it 25 percent it's fine or the width is fill parent like this and that height is 40 to 35 make it 35 like this and make sure this not to 20 percent is like 15 is fine like this now that's our app here now we need to code for that uh, drawing option here so first go to the block section 
or let me just try how it's worked till now so i will run this app in emulator so that's our app here and this will look like this actually it's not look cool so what i will do here i will add some label here like this so make some space here between that label between that colors like this so you just need to copy and paste that labels here like copy paste and just drag and drop that label between uh, all these colors okay like this so let me just select that one here and just drag and drop it here then select another and just drag and drop it here and just go to here and check that that's design of your app it's look pretty cool but uh, we need to just add that background color to again change let me just make it black okay like this and we need to change that uh, screen background color to something background color to you can make it orange or something like that and let me just try it's work or not okay it's working fine but we need some space here actually it's not look good so what i will do here i will change that background color of my other uh, buttons like this like this so let me just make it red or like something green or something yellow like this so we have three buttons here so yeah i need some space between that so how can i get that space so do that we need to add some label here also but without text like this without text so we will get some space here so we have three buttons we can add uh, labels here also to make um, space between all these buttons okay like this just select that remove that from here copy paste and just drag and drop that here so it's look uh, pretty fine cool now we need to add hair drawing so how we can do that so make sure that text is nothing it's just like uh, you can just say here result or yes you are the result like this so this will display the result like this make sure to click on the screen and make it in a center like this now it's uh, looking pretty cool fine now we need to draw something here okay so make sure this image should be uh, visible off okay like this and so it will look like uh, this so we need here some more space between that horizontal endpoint so what i will do i will make that height is like 15 uh, percent or 13 percent like this so it will look cool yeah it's look fine now we need to add uh, to one thing let me just change that background color of that actually it's not looking uh, pretty cool so i will add some dark color here i'll add some dark color here to make it perfect yeah it's fine cool now we need to do uh, we need to draw here we need to draw and see here can, I, can, I can't draw anything here so do that we need to do coding here go to the block section and whenever someone click on uh, whenever someone to draw so we need to just here canvas dot drag and click on canvas and you can see the draw line this one call it here and we need to use your current x value then current y value this one current y value then previous x value and then a previous y value like this okay now let me just refresh that and let's try it's working or not this one is our canvas and let me just draw it's drawing okay now we need to change that color okay so how we can do that so whenever someone select that button so we have to change our paint color so here you can see go to the design here and you can see click on that red button and that button is like which one is button this this one is a button 4 you can rename your all buttons name so you will not get confused go to the block section on button 4 so click on button 4 so whenever someone click on button 4 so we have to change our paint color of canvas so click on canvas and you can see here the set, set canvas paint color this one and make this one is a red so just type your red and get it here so we just need to do it like uh, for all colors so like button 5 is yellow 6 8 sorry 7 or this one is 8 okay so we need to do it for all buttons so like just copy paste four times five times here and we just need to change the four to five then six then seven and then just eight 
that one is the eight color but the eight one is all black okay you can see this one go to the design and check that yes at eight this one eight is like a black but the five is orange and six is white okay so five is orange this one is orange and the six is white like this white and the seven is or seven is or blue this one but i think white will not work yeah white will work uh, while we are using your some color but what i will do i will change that canvas color background color to black okay so if i will change that background color to black so it's look fine now let me just try to refresh that and let's try and whenever i try to run it's not working because i'm drawing with the black color so let me just select red and then draw like see if i click on that the orange then like this see i can draw with any color now i can draw with the blue color also and i can if you want to erase that so you just need to select black and just copy and paste like this it's erasing like this see now it's fine now we have image now what i need to do i need to recognize that my painting so how to do that so we need to use here one more thing here this is the image picker we are using your button but we don't need to use your image picker button because we have one option here click on media and you can see the image picker this one just use that image picker delete that button to delete this one or just copy paste text from here of that button and delete that button here and use that button as a image picker button like this and change that background color to something whatever you want okay and like this uh, now cool so that image picker button so whenever someone click on that image picker button so we need to get one image and we need to display that image in that image here image one so go to the block and click on that image picker here so whenever someone after picking the image click on after picking the image so we have to set our image one this one set image picture this one dot selection image picker where is image picker this one and you can get here image picker dot selection this one it will be here cool and after this we need to enable that image so set image visual to true like this okay and whenever we click on that clear button this one clear button button 3 so on button 3 click we will hide all that image okay so we will make our image visible of visible false like this okay now we need to do one more thing here so now whatever we draw on that canvas so we have to recognize that uh, with the look extension so how we can do that so go to the block section and click on that extension here and you can see what this is input is like classify image data and the image we have to pass the image so how can i pass the image so to that we need to go to the design section here so whatever we draw so we need to click on whenever someone click on get result it means button one so go to the block section click on button one you can see this one so whenever someone click on button one so first of all we need to call this here the look extension and you can see classify the image this one but before this we have to save our image in that image so whatever the image is image in a canvas so how we can I save it so do that we need to do one thing here just click anywhere in the screen and just type here evaluate but ignore result call this okay where is this evaluate 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 but ignore result this one we need to call this uh, here like this okay and then we need to do one thing here we need to save our canvas image so click on that canvas and you can you will find your save image option see this one save as this one so save as the file name and add here it from the control click on that the variable like this and this lies one a variable like uh, name is fine and make it as a numeric this one add and then we need to add your text and we need to use your one join option make sure this is one for one more string here and then we need to add our file name so whatever the file name is the file name is should be if 
file name should be or whatever you want so just see draw and then we need to get a variable this one and then in the last we need to add dot jpg okay cool dot dot jpg like this now we have saved that image now we have to save that image we have to save that image in here image one dot picture this one so call this here and delete this from here image dot picture should be from here like this okay and we have to classify the image so image it means image one dot image you can see the picture image one dot picture so we will classify that picture cool so this will classify the picture now we have to display the result so this will display the result go to the design section click on that uh, look extension and you can see the web viewer we need to select web viewer okay and make sure input mode should be image okay this is important now we need to go to the block section and whatever the result we get okay so we need to add that result in the list so we can see the list and index value here you can see this one list so whatever the result we need to add so we just need to go to the look extension here and after classify the after got classification here so we will display that result in our label so which label in the label one so label one dot text here like this and get the list the result is like here and the index is like one is this one from one first index like and here one we need to do one more thing here in the look extension whenever the classifier is ready so we will display our label value okay so our label one dot text should be as a ready so let me just try here and just type your ready text here and just type your ready like this so our clear button is this one this one here button 3 is our clear button okay cool see this one so we need to just clear our canvas click on canvas and you can see the canvas dot clear this one we have to call now we need to do one more thing here whenever we use your image picker so we need to add that image picture as a canvas background color so click on canvas and you can see the set canvas background color oh sorry the background image so you will get your set background image this one so we need to call it here after picking the image we need to set that image uh, after picking the image we need to set that image selection it means that one should be here also here cool this is important and whenever we call this one as a clear so we need to clear from here also and make sure this is and then click on canvas and you can see the no no available asset from here call it here like this and I will give you that AIA file of that uh, overall code in the, the coding bus website and the, the coding bus app also. So if you need any help on that, please comment on the video. I'll try my best to solve your problems. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel, like this video and share this video. Have a nice day. Be safe. Bye-bye.